Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. All right, so today I want to share with you guys my most favorite cheapy fragrance buy of this year, 2020. I know 2020 is not finished yet, <laughs> but you guys, this one blew me away so much that uh, I just feel like I can't even imagine anything topping it for now. Um, it happens to... It was a blind buy, sorry, and um, it was very affordable and this was recommended by some of you in the comments. Uh, Susanna was the first, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is from the house of Zara. And I gotta tell you guys, Zara has been killing it this year. Like, I'm not sure what they've been doing, like, a few years ago because I wasn't really into Zara, but as soon as the Emotions Collection, the, the Joe Loves collaboration um as soon as that one came out i was like wow these are really great fragrances <laughs> for such great prices and then they came out with the memories collection which had the uh, sweet pastry in paris and the um the mochi atelier in tokyo and i just talk about those perfumes all the time because they're gorgeous and so cheap and they smell, they smell more expensive than they actually are and uh, it's just perfect for my lifestyle at the moment where I'm spending a lot of my time inside <laughs> um, unfortunately but you know that's what I just need I don't need something like super strong all the time although I do love those kind of perfumes too and I do wear them uh, but for the house inside I just want something really nice that smells good and it does not have to have like the best performance. But then again, I didn't pay much for it. So this one here is a new release from the House of Zara. This is called Rose Gourmand. And um, <laughs> first thing I wanna say is that uh, it's a very heavy bottle, you guys. There's this huge chunk of glass at the bottom here that makes it so weighty. It's probably one of my most heaviest bottles that I own, but I kinda like when when um, bottles are heavy, uh, for example, the the Montel bottles or the yeah the Montel bottles they're like made out of like a, a tin or something. I'm not sure what it is aluminum. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's so light. And then when I hold it in my hand, or when I have held it in hand sto in the store, it just didn't really feel nice. You know, it just didn't feel like it was anything. It didn't even feel like a perfume. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like paint like a paint can or like um, hairspray or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I guess packaging does matter. It doesn't for all of us, but for me, I really like when things are like super heavy. And this one is a very heavy fragrance. Um, the perfume itself, however, is probably one of the best uh, performing fragrances out of the ones that I've tried from Zara. It lasts very well on my skin and on clothing. Let me just spray it on a test strip here. Yeah, I haven't had this for very long. I've had it just for a few weeks or three weeks or something like that. And you can see already that I've gone through a lot of it. That's how much I love it. And um, let's just get this on a test strip. <laughs> you guys, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful, jammy, sweet, vanilla rose syrupy heavy deep perfume it smells expensive i believe this was like 50.95 if I'm re i remember correctly uh, but it smells like much more than that and honestly i know some people have made um the connection um with this fragrance and another because people say that this is a dupe of roses vanille by Mancera. I just have a small um, spray travel size here and let me just spray it on here. Okay. <laughs> I just love, I love this to you guys. Um, if you've tried Rose's Vanille, then you would probably like this one because it is very similar let me just put them smell them together yeah they're very similar they're really thick and rich and sweet rosy jammy vanilla 
think there's only three notes listed in the Rose Gourmand. It's Rose, Vanilla, and Amber. And honestly, it's so good. <laughs> I will say that although the Rose Gourmand does perform really well, uh, the biggest difference here is that Rose's Vanille, it even performs even better. Like this is just one of the most strongest perfumes I've tried. Um, that when I first tried it, I wasn't in love with it, but this one really grew on me. And um, I really like Rose's Vanille, but uh, for the price difference, I think the Rose Gourmand would be just fine. It's not as strong, but for the performance on this one, it's it's good enough, you guys. It's really, it does last for a very long time and uh, it still smells fantastic. So another thing that I can say is that in both of these fragrances, um, both the Rose Gourmand and the Rose's Vanille, there aren't any coffee notes in this one. I don't think there are coffee notes in this in the Rose's Vanille, I haven't checked, but I definitely get the scent of coffee beans, like dark roasted coffee beans in both of them. Uh, it's a bit richer in this one, and this one also reminds me of Intense Cafe by Montel, uh, which, you know, I would say that all three of these fragrances are related. So Rose Gourmand, Rose's Vanille, and um, Intense Cafe by Montel, which is another fragrance that I did not like at first. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it slowly grew on me, and I now I think it's beautiful. So, yeah, you guys, this is a fantastic fragrance. It's a steal of a deal for sure. It is my favorite thus far a cheapy fragrance discovery of 2020. It's absolutely gorgeous. A few days ago I wore this fragrance and my husband happened to make me an espresso at the same time as soon as I sprayed this on and I took a sip of my espresso while I still smelled this coming off strongly off of my skin and clothes and I was like in awe of how beautiful it smelled. <laughs> and I literally said, I'm like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. And so I got like coffee, uh, roasted coffee beans, and I got this, and it reminded me of Intense Cafe, and then it reminded me of Rose's Vanille. And yeah, it's just fantastic. And I swear Zara or Zara is just doing so well. <laughs> And I'm loving their fragrances, so I'm going to keep on discovering perfumes from Zara. I just ordered some sample sets that they just released on their website. So yeah, I don't have to blind buy anymore. I can just test those fragrances. So stay tuned for reviews or first impressions on that coming up on my channel. But yeah, if you can get this and you like either um, Rose's Vanille or Intense Cafe, then you should definitely get this. <laughs> I think at the moment, well, on the Dutch website, I think it's discon not discontinued. It's already sold out. Um, hopefully they restock because this is something that I would probably get another bottle of. And I know I tried to get Red Temptation yesterday, uh, but it's all sold out on the website. And also the 540 dupe that I recently um, reviewed, it was the Port Ohm Night or Night Port Ohm 5. That one is also sold out. So people are catching on, you guys. They, they, these guys are just putting out fantastic fragrances. And not all of them are hits, but there are definitely gems in the Zara collection. And uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving saving money and smelling great at a great price. So do get your nose on this if possible. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.